perseverance. Democracy. Determination. America! As much as we value literacy and the written word, the visual representation can unlock a piece of a story that may not be expressed in words, and that a visual image can tell a story in a different way. There's two main things that students can't get from textbooks. And the first is a sense of authenticity and of discovery, because the work's already been done for them. And you can read a book, walk away from it, and have no recollection of the things that you've studied. Picturing America is a wonderful program where students use visuals and use artwork from different periods of time and history to explore the stories of history. One of the most exciting things about Picturing America is these images can be brought into any classroom. This is the Chrysler Building in New York City. A science class can look at the Chrysler Building and identify the architecture, talk about the different shapes, the different pieces, the different parts. I think it's that. It looks like a bird. This is supposed to be a symbol for freedom of the bald eagle. There are connections that they can have with George Washington, they can have with the people marching for voting rights, that they can have with the woman in the depression with her children. It looks like they're really poor and that the kids are afraid or nervous or sad. They can understand that and they can relate to it. You can tell that by the clothes that they're wearing, that they're ready to do something, like to fight for something that they really want. Pictures are the most direct route to understanding our history. We're a people who are not united by blood or by land or by a single religion. For our democracy to survive, our citizens need to know what our ideas are. The kids are able to look at the painting and sort of unravel it. I know he has something on his own mind. They recognize something, they mimic the gestures of some of the figures in the painting. It's like they're internalizing what they're seeing in the picture. We have these unbelievable, huge, you know, pieces of art. What's actually going on here? Probably before blacks or women had any rights to vote. There's such a big difference between these two pictures. It just seems so much lighter, the mood versus here. The African Americans here had such a bad time. What I think America is really about is that if you really want something, you have to try to put all your effort into it to get what you want. The ideas that it brings up have to do with what it means to be American. And I like that the pictures and photographs and sculptures and all of those different mediums still link back to that sort of central question and idea. I think the program is so good and so important because it honors different learning styles in the classroom and because it values the idea that American history is full of so many different stories and perspectives. Art can express moods, which is something that words sometimes can't do. It has an effect on them that they will share with others. It's the chance to take concepts and history and to make them vivid and real. A picture says a thousand words. In this case, it's absolutely true. Picturing America puts great art where it can do the most good. To find out more and learn how your school or library can participate, go to picturingamerica.neh.gov. Caring. Hope. Bravery. Freedom. America. NEH is the principal supporter of humanities in the United States, and so we support things like studies of languages and cultures. We support history, musical history, art history, and like the whole range of humanities. And we all come from different places. We're not united by a single religion or by land or by blood, but by a set of ideas and ideals. I wish that uh, I were in your shoes because you're getting to debate what are really the most fundamental issues of American democracy. It's not art for art's sake. Rather, it's art to better understand the American story. And I think by showing such artwork, we can help revive that because a lot of people are really visual learners. And so by seeing visuals, it's a lot better than maybe narrating their story. And also some of these, like the Norman Rockwell, I mean, that one, you see it a lot, but some people might just not know what it's about, and if you just block that and explain that in terms of the bigger picture of the other three images that it comes with, 
then you know you're really providing history to people out there. To do a video blog on the picture itself and the origins of the picture, where it was painted, just basic informational stuff that you can throw on the Now Debate This website. And, and just get conversations started using these pictures as, as jumping points. Humans, they, they need, you know, so many connectors, and the more times that you connect things to other things, the better you remember it. Get a copy of that picture and take it around your town and just ask, you know, what, is, uh, what does this picture make you think about America? Like, you know, what, how, does, how do you connect this to being an American and stuff, and just see what you kind of get from other people in your community. I think it would be a great idea to display the pictures in like public areas and like show them how it applies to our founding principles. I think they'll understand a picture better than they'll understand really complex words. And then see if they can apply that to Washington and Lincoln. we we'll hold different events to attract younger and various groups of people. And then during these events hold like live gallery shows where you can explain the different artworks there and that way you don't get people that are just interested in actually looking towards uh, the history artwork, but you get people that would actually never expect to see it. You can even hold like a little mini debate, like have a gallery and have like a little mini debate on what the paintings themselves mean and why the artist chose to portray that particular moment in time.